Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Angle Mockups Figma plugin. First, go into the community page and then search for Angle. Then click on plugins and then on Angle Mockups and install the plugin to your Figma. Next, create a new Figma file and add a mockup to your file. I highly encourage you to download the mockups from angle.sh as this plugin works best with our mockups. Once you have a mockup in your page, it's time to add a frame. So since I added an iPhone 13 here, I will click on frame and under phone, I will select iPhone 13. It's best to create a frame with the same aspect ratio as your screen. So for example, if my screen is an iPhone 13, I should select the iPhone 13 frame. Next, I will add a fill to my frame. So I will click on the color here and I will switch to image and choose an image. So I will choose this screenshot from my phone here. Next, I will need to select a screen layer on my mockup. The shortcut is to click on comment on your keyboard and then click on the screen, which will automatically select the right layer in which we want to apply our frame. In the new angle mockups, you will see that the layer to select is called place artboard here. In the older ones, it will be named screen, but the icon on the left side will be a little image like this one with a mountain and a little sun. Next, we will click on plugins and angle mockups in order to open the plugin. You will see that we have two tabs here. You will see a suggested tab as well as a all tab. The suggested tab will suggest you the frames which will be the best suited for the screen that you selected. And the all frames will be all the frames that you find in your Figma file. We also added a new feature, which is to search for a frame. So if you have a few frames, you can search for one. For example, I can search for iPhone and I will see all the frames where the name is iPhone. And if you're not sure if this is the right frame that you want to select, you can hover over the name and you will see the entire name of your frame displayed. Next, select your frame that you wish to apply to your screen and you can set the pixel density. 3x is the maximum quality and 1x is the default quality. You can rotate your frame and also flip your frame. Then click on apply and it will apply on your mockup screen. You can see that we have a warning here that if you encounter a pixelated image, that means that your mockup was really small and you can see that it's pixelated. As a workaround, what you can do is set a higher pixel density, so at 3x, which will result in a sharper image. If you feel like your image is still pixelated, what you can do is to scale up your mockup. So you can scale it up to about 2000 pixels in width or higher, and you will get the best resolutions. Please note that the maximum size, either in width or in height, is of 4096 pixels. So don't go over 4096 pixels. So let's select the screen layer and then we run the plugin and set it at 3x, then click on apply. Now, if we zoom in, you can see that our image is really sharp and you can then scale it back down and your image will still be sharp even if our mockup is smaller. So happy designing!